UK expands biometric applicants and digital immigration system. The United Kingdom is taking another step towards modernising its immigration process by including new biometric applicants in its e-visa system. This shift is part of the broader move to phase out physical documents and transition to a fully digital system, making the visa process more streamlined and secure. Topics discussed in today's video update. New biometric applicants in the e-visa system. UKVI account requirement. Continued use of BRP cards. Until December 31st and lastly, we'll discuss the call to switch to UKVI accounts. Get up-to-date immigration information by subscribing to our channel. Con. Press the bell icon and share our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X with your friends and family. Let's resume the video and tell you about the new biometric applicants in the e-visa system. The UK government has announced that new biometric applicants will now be integrated into the e-visa system. This change is designed to advance the UK's transition to a digital immigration process, significantly reducing the reliance on physical documents. What are the UKVI account requirement for long-term stay? For those granted visas to stay in the UK for more than six months, setting up an online UKVI account is now mandatory. This account will allow them to access their e-visa, eliminating the need for biometric residence permits, BRPs, and other physical documents. Are you wondering about the continued use of BRP cards until December 31st? While the transition to digital is underway, BRP cards will remain valid until December 31st of this year. Importantly, the expiration of the BRP card does not affect the holder's immigration status, ensuring a smooth transition for all affected individuals. Lastly, let's talk about the call to switch to UKVI accounts. The UK government is actively encouraging individuals with BRPs to switch to a UKVI account. This digital account serves as proof of their immigration status and will be essential as the UK moves towards fully digitizing its immigration system. Our video ends here. Don't forget to comment below and share your opinion with us. Thanks for watching today's video update. 